All right, Cancer, this one was a little bit difficult for me because I understand wanting to get past a situation that may be going on for too long, but you may be forcing something to happen here and you don't want to do that, but that may be because you're feeling very restricted. So sisters of the seasons, and this did show up as a challenge for you, and then you have freedom. Sisters of the seasons as a challenge is talking about wanting to take shortcuts, moving too quickly through something. And it's basically saying that you're not allowing something to go through like its natural course, right? Letting nature take its course. You can't jump from winter to summer, you know, even though the weather would tell us otherwise. But <laughs> in terms of what is going on in your life right now, this may feel like a situation that's been going on for fucking ever. And that's immediately what I felt like, like, oh, God, I wish this would just reach its completion so that I'm not restricted anymore. Now, you may not actually have the freedom to do anything about this. You know, you may be trying to move through it quickly, but it, that's going to be self-defeating. But freedom is telling you that you need to look at the areas of limitation in your life and where you've been holding yourself back. But whatever is going on, it's going to have to go through its course. And you may be reaching that part of a cycle in your life where you need to break away from it because it's too limiting, you know, and that could be for some of you. All right, Cancer, here we go. Here's your overall, the Knight of Swords. All right. And again, right, like acting too quickly on something. Now, for some of you, this may be what you are needing to do in terms of communication. Maybe there's something that needs to be said like right now and you need to be absolutely clear on what you are communicating. But the Knight of Swords is still an immature energy. So this may be you acting too quickly without having all of the information first, you know, but we'll see here. It's either, you know, you're acting with conviction or you're acting a little bit too abruptly here. But I still feel like there's something that needs to be said in order to clear up a situation. What I want to say here is it's no longer up for debate. I think that that's the best way to put it. Because I always look at the Knight of Swords and think, this is ending the conversation. Look, here's what I'm going to say. End of story. I don't give a shit what you have to say. It is my truth and I'm communicating that and that's it. In the past, the Four of Wands. Okay. So in the past, this could be you you know, establishing stability in a part of your life. This could be about your relationship here, or, you know, we're talking about getting ready for a celebration. That's what I want to say, looking at that, like you're preparing for this, but there may be like a setback. Really, dude? I'm telling you, man, the spiders, they're having a field day and I don't want to kill them. Here, go, go, buddy. Now, if that would have been a wolf spider, it would have been something different. <laughs> but this, more so than anything to me, is saying that at some point in the past, there was stability. Okay. And you're still committed to it. With the Hierophant being in the present moment, you know, there's the, the grounding and the spiritual knowledge and understanding here. But it's like a holding faith. That's what I want to say. We're, hold, we're holding on to our faith, our belief in what it is you are establishing here with the Four of Wands. And I still feel like there's some kind of a holdup or a setback or something that's not, you know, able to reach that point where you get to take a break and go, look, look at what we've accomplished, right? Because that is the Four of Wands, celebrating those accomplishments. But I feel like the hair fit in this case is you continuing to hold faith. Oh boy. Yeah. Future conditions, the eight of swords. So being stuck. Now, the problem is, is with the knight of swords, you know, this could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you take action with the situation. So something is happening with the stability that you have created in your life. And there is still very much this, I'm holding on to faith that, you know, I'm going to be able to maintain this or faith that everything is going to work out. But you're moving into a place where, you know, there are thoughts that are keeping you stuck. Now, 
it may be that there is nothing that you can do or you feel like there is nothing that you can do to get things, you know, going again, like getting progress happening. But this could be like literally mentally stuck on what do I need to say to clear up this situation? Your best path to follow the wheel of fortune. You know what it made me think of the wheel of the year and then looking at the sisters of the seasons. We can either repeat this cycle or we can deal with the downside of the wheel and wait for things to turn in a better direction here before you take action. And what I want to say here is that, you know, fate is stepping in in such a way where things are going to turn around in a better way for you. And I think that, you know, it, the Eight of Swords isn't like something that you should do, but maybe it's it's happening for a reason. It's like you're purposely being stopped from taking action because it could be a problem, if that makes sense. It's like... Cancer, we don't want you to do anything about this just yet. It's going to suck and you're going to think that, you know, you're stuck and there's no way out of this. Just just wait a minute is what I want to say. Just wait a minute because circumstances are going to change. And I do think that with the Wheel of Fortune, it's going to turn in a much better direction. And that may give you the clarity that you need to take direct action, right? Wow, man. Oh, shit. In your environment, the devil... And with the Hierophant, it makes sense why you're continuing to hold on to faith, even in really difficult circumstances here. You have something on the outside of you and your stability that is coming through that I feel like is causing problems. And I don't necessarily feel like it's attached to you. The only thing that you have to worry about, Cancer, is falling into bad patterns and habits on how to deal with these kinds of situations. But I literally feel like this is outside of you and your stability. Your home, your relationship, Whatever it is that you're establishing or what you are establishing in the past that is now being affected. It's like the devil is coming through and trying to throw a fucking monkey wrench in all the shit that you are trying to build. And it's like, what the fuck? But you're in a place of like, I, I, I almost feel like it's not that you're clinging on to a certain belief or faith to get you through this. I actually feel like you're higher above. So I feel like you're coming from a good place. I don't think that the Hierophant is oppressive in this situation. I think that this is a change that you have dealt with before. I just think that the only bad habit that you have in this is how you handle this. And I feel like that's why the wheel is there and we're looking at the Eight of Swords like you're purposely being stopped. Like, don't worry. Don't take care of it now. Don't do this now because... You know, it's almost like this has to happen in order for things to get better. Wow, Cancer, the hell is going on? All right, and this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> the Six of Cups, hopes and fears, right? It's like it's happening again. And you've been through this, and you're coming from a place of the Hierophant where it's like you know how to handle it. But I would say that with the Six of Cups, this is the past never going away. I don't feel like because of the devil being there that this is something that you want to reminisce on. This, I think, is something that should have been taken care of in the past. And it's like it's coming back around now so that you can deal with it from a much better place. You know, but then uh, looking at the wheel, it's like, well, how many fucking times is this going to come around? How many times am I going to have to deal with this? You know, but this, I feel like, you know, in terms of a fear, like I said, it's like the past never goes away. But the hope there would be that, you know, we can move on from this and not let it create negative memories. You know, so this may be like a huge hiccup in the road. Yeah, for some of you. But I think that after this, you're not going to have to deal with it again. You know, I just I don't like the Eight of Swords. But at the same time, there is very much this feeling in me of just stay calm. It has to be this way right now. You know, you're not actually stuck, but this is what you need to feel to prevent you from doing something that you may regret. Now, that may be for only some of you, but 
you know, I don't like the idea of purposely being put in this position so that things can unfold the way that they need to. But, you know, then again, you had the Sisters of Seasons as a challenge, you know, but this is definitely something you need freedom from. Okay. And then coming out, the Two of Cups. So this is going to have to do with a relationship for some of you. Now, that could be any relationship. For some of you, this could be your partner, your spouse. For others of you, it could be a family member or even somebody that you're working with. But I feel like because we're looking at another person and we're looking at, you know, the Two of Cups coming out is about the two of you being on the same page now, seeing things the same way, sharing your emotions. I, I feel like the devil is attached to the other person, not to cancer. Like I said, the only thing that I see bad with you is bad habits in terms of your reaction. Now, you may literally be having a fight with somebody, but you may have to hold back what you really think and what you really feel. And this is something that needs to happen this way in order to clear it out. But I understand this, like, we've done this before, you know, and I, I don't think that this is something that you want to pop back into your life, your relationship, what you're establishing. And then you have the hangman. And this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like, you're purposely being put in this position where you don't do something that you're going to regret later, I'm telling you. But some of you may not see it that way. But I do think that, you know, the hangman is a good thing coming out here because it's going to allow you to see things from a different perspective. And it may be from someone else's perspective. Like, I now understand and I now see. And that may create a better bond between the two of you. And it's like, this is something that you can't, there's nothing you can change about this cancer. There's really nothing that you can do here. You know, when, when it is time for you to speak up and act, you will know. But at the same time, there, there needs to be something said. Something needs to be cleared up. Absolutely. The Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups immediately for me, especially with the two, is like, you have thought about completely moving on from this before, like completely giving up. And this is where I feel like, and, and again, it's, it's this situation repeating itself, right? This is not the first time that you've been through this or this devil has walked in and caused problems. And I don't think that you want to go back to that place where it's like, I can't do this anymore. I, I need to leave this behind. It's time for me to walk away. But I do think that at some point you considered it because this situation is emotionally draining for you. And then with the Queen of Wands, I, I feel like this has to do with the person that you're dealing with. Now, they could be male, female. We could be talking about fire. You know how that goes. But I also look at the Queen of Wands and think that a lot of you, like I said, are coming from a better place with the Hierophant. And I think that you have very much the power and the drive to act and to take care of this situation, but you're doing it from a perspective of understanding of the other person and why this keeps happening. Instead of looking at it like these are the negative things that are happening to me that are preventing me from having that stable relationship, it's now I see that it's the other person's issue here. You know, and this person may be looking for your help and your support rather than, you know, your anger, which would be understandable in this case, you know. But uh, like I said, that Eight of Swords and that Hangman, I'm telling you, it's like you're purposely being put in that position. And I, I do, I feel very strongly that it's so that you don't do something that you're going to regret. You know, now for some of you, it may be that you're finally getting... A harsh truth on this situation and discovering truth you stand in the light of truth <laughs> so discovering truth when you look at this one it's everybody else is like oh no that is the path in in cancers like yeah but it's not the path for me this is where i need to go you know so there may be other people saying to you cancer what the fuck are you doing why are you continuing to deal with this why is this a part of your life still you should be doing this instead this is you going no i know exactly where my path is and you are standing in the light of your own truth but you are discovering a truth here but everything is in the flow and again going with the flow of the situation 
This may not be something that you wanted to come back around cancer, but I'm telling you, if you handle it the right way this time, this will be the last time that you will ever have to deal with this. 